Uh, payment due, dinner at Rooftop Gardens? Find Dr. C. Hadley. Wait, was I just asked out on a date? Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to see you again. So today, I decided I am going to have Gus ungelded. I know it sounds crazy. I know how dangerous the procedure can be. But, you know, I really, really want to have little mini Gus's running around because he is such a fantastic horse and I think he would be an even better dad. So, I decided to give Oren a call to have him come and check him over. Unfortunately, though, Oren, for whatever reason, isn't available. He's just not answering his phone. Luckily, though, another vet has decided to come out. He's from Trinata, apparently. Um, so we'll meet this guy and see how it goes. Before we get started, though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you. While we wait for the new vet to get here, I'm going to work with the hollow horse again. Unfortunately, things are not going super well with him, but maybe we'll break some more ground. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Okay, let's go grab him. All right, so eventually I want to show you guys some new horses I've got too, but right now is not a great time for that. I promise I will in the future though. I've completely remodeled my little barn out here. As you can see, it kind of matches everything else now. I think it looks really, really nice. And I added this outdoor area for him to go in and out so he doesn't have to feel claustrophobic because I know I would. <laughs> but all right, come on, boy. Good boy. He's been really good about being caught, really good about being led, but for whatever reason, I cannot get a blanket on him. I'm going to try, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, that's okay. You've seen this a million times. Good boy. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, no blanket again for the day. That's okay. Good boy. Um, all right, how about we just go in the round pen? You like the round pen. Come on. Come on, boy. I'm not going to force you. There we go. Good job. Okay, this is not going how I expected. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, we made so much progress before. No, don't do that. Come on. Oh, he's like almost running me over. Why are we taking back steps? Oh no. All right, okay. So that was not working out. I went ahead and put him away. He is just not feeling it. And that's all right. We'll try again tomorrow. But I do believe that the new vet should be here anytime. So come on, Gus, good boy. We'll take him outside. I know, you're a good boy. Come on. It's okay. Oh, you know something's going on, huh? Oh, yep, you're nervous. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and shut your door. And come this way. Good boy, Gus. I'm kind of nervous about what Gus is going to think about this new doctor he doesn't know, but... I don't know. I guess we're going to see. I am up right here. Oh, your butt is in the walkway. That's not going to work. Ooch. Come on. That's not enough. Oh my gosh. Straighten out. <laughs> oh wait, is he coming? Oh my. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Hadley, but my friends call me Chadley. And you must be Jane Dreamberg, I presume? Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. My name is JD. Or my friends call me JD. I haven't been called Jane in forever. It's nice to meet you, JD. It's nice to meet you too, Chadley. So, from your phone call, it sounded like you wanted to ungeld a gelded horse uh yes that is correct interesting you know this is a very difficult procedure i have heard that yes so i'm a little bit nervous since uh you know Oren isn't here oh i completely understand you know how these animals are they get 
attached to their veterinarian, former veterinarian, and... Wait, wait, former? What do you mean, former? Well, I figured Oren would have let his clients know. You know how these things are. You, you get too many clients, and eventually you have to let some of them go. Hold on, so you're saying Oren is no longer my veterinarian? JD, that's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that Chadley is now your veterinarian. Um, I, wow. Honestly, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. I, I figured he would tell me big news like this, so I'm a little bit shocked. Yeah, you really think that he would have done that, right? I am so sorry to spring this on you, but I can assure you, your animals are in the best of care. No, there's no need to apologize. It's not your fault. If anything, I'm really grateful you told me. But let's just forget all of that for now. I'm looking at this handsome Shire Cross. Is he crossed with an American paint horse by any chance? Actually, yes, that's exactly what he's crossed with. I'm surprised you even saw that. Well, I also saw that tricolored skewballed pattern. Very rare. Uh, yeah, it is actually. Um, I'm glad you noticed. It's very nice to meet you, Gus. You and I are going to get along swimmingly. Here, JD, I'm going to remove this halter. I, I believe it would be a little bit more comfortable and get ready for his procedure. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. He really doesn't know you yet, and he might honestly just run away. Run away? No. I assure you, everything is going to be just fine. Here, take a look. Wow, I cannot believe he let you ride him like that. He doesn't even know you. He doesn't like strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm his new best friend, Chadley. I'm so impressed. Good boy, Gus. He does seem to really like you. Good boy indeed. Now, ungelding is a very difficult procedure. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Some would even consider it impossible. But... Thanks to a method that I just recently discovered, it's not only possible, but it's extremely safe. Oh, really? That is so relieving to hear, because I've been kind of worried that it was going to be dangerous. Usually I only do this thing for my top clients, but now that I've met you, I can easily say that I now consider you my top client. Wow, I'm very flattered to hear you say that, and honestly, I feel a lot more comfortable now. It pleases me to hear that. Okay, so I will need a big area to perform this procedure, and I will also need to build a pop-up tent. Do you know of any area where I can perform this? Um, I mean, there's plenty of room on the ranch, but I do have this paddock right over here that is quite spacious and near the barn, if that'll work. That will be just fine. Okay, perfect. And the horses in there shouldn't bother you either. They're no bother at all, I can assure you. Okay, it's right over this way if you want to follow me. All right, this is a suitable area. If you would, please get Gus comfortable. It will only be a couple of moments before I have this tent built. Okay, I can definitely do that. All right, Gus, here's the big moment. I think you're in really good hands. Don't be nervous, okay? Dr. Chadley seems like a really, really nice guy, and I think he'll take very good care of you. All right, come on, it's okay. Good boy. I know it's scary. I don't like the doctor either, but you're gonna be just fine. And then you're gonna have babies. Can't wait to see your babies. Okay, here he is. Hello, Gus. It's good to see you again. I can see that you're ready for this. Come on, come join me. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous. I do want to warn you, the procedure may take a while, and it can be possibly noisy. But it's perfectly normal, everything is okay. Noisy, uh, okay. I mean, I trust you, I think that Gus is in great hands. Thank you so much for doing this. Anything for you, JD. Well, with that being said, I guess I'll go inside. I think Gus is in really, really good hands, so just hope everything goes as good as I think it will.
hey, it's the next morning. Last night, it was very loud. I'm not exactly sure what was going on. Um, but, I mean, Dr. Chadley did tell me that it was going to be a little noisy. So, hey, are they still working? Oh, I think I hear something. Um, okay. You know, I'm not going to question it. In the meantime, I think I'm going to go work with the hollow horse again and hope he's in a better mood today. Okay, come on, boy. And today be the day that we make a big breakthrough. Please. <laughs> I mean, I want to be patient, but, you know. All right, go ahead. Go run crazy. Wait, you're seriously just going to stand there now? <sighs> what can I do <laughs> to break through to you? Come on. One day you're crazy, and the next day you do nothing. Oh, look. <gasps> There's Gus. Oh my gosh, he looks so good! No, oh, yes. Do you want an apple boy? Wow, he looks amazing! Dr. Chadley, he looks incredible! Well, he was an ideal patient. So, it was successful then? He's no longer a gelding? No longer a gelding. This gentleman will start having children as soon as you're ready. Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved! Thank you so much! I'm so happy! Absolutely. Anything for you, JD. Hello, Archie. And who is this fellow right here? Oh, I'm surprised you knew my dog's name. Um, oh, this horse... This horse is really complicated. It's a long story. Well, I'm here to listen. I, I really can't get into it other than I'm having a really hard time getting this horse to trust me. Do you mind if I take a look? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. Just be careful. He really... Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you here. going? Come on. Let's go. Dr. Chadley, you could get hurt. If only we could travel back in time. Whoa, right where we Maybe we'll never need a reason why. Whoa, dance and tell the time. If only we could travel back in time. Whoa, right where we Maybe we'll never need a reason why. Whoa, dance and tell the time. Oh my gosh! Do you realize how incredible that was? He's a really good boy, isn't he? I have only been able to turn one ho- I mean, uh, getting one horse to trust me that much, and it was my own horse. That's incredible. You just met this horse! Kindred spirits, I'd say. You have such an amazing way with animals. <laughs> I am so impressed. That means more to me than anything. I appreciate your time, JD, and here is the bill for my services. We'll be seeing each other. Oh, okay, bye. Thank, thank you again, and it was really nice meeting you. Okay, I better grab this horse. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. He's like this chocolate color in the Appaloosa coat. Oh, it's so pretty. Hi, boy. It's so good to see him back to normal. I'm so happy. Uh, Dr. Chadley really is impressive boy come over here next to Gus you can just hang out right here for a second let me read this and see how much this costs okay invoice ungelding one horse transforming an odd horse fair enough uh payment due dinner at rooftop gardens find Dr. Z Hadley wait was I just asked out on a date I don't know where all of these burgers keep coming from, but somebody has to eat them. Whoever keeps sending them is really nice. And, oh, Zach Bagans is on the TV? Oh my gosh. I'm going to have at least 24 to 480 hours of Zach Bagans to watch. I haven't had any time at all to work, but with burgers, what point is there to work? But I haven't heard from JD in a while. JD? JD? 